Hey guys, Ghost here, and welcome back to Ghost Plays Hollow Knight. So, in the last episode of this little adventure of ours, we explored the waterways, and we got the Defender's Crest, and we got the ability to swim in acid. And then I decided to get cocky, feeling like I could do it, and I tried to fight the Watcher Knights again. It went horribly. I only killed one. That was, that was a terrible performance, and I apologize. In this episode, I think I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna go get my soul back from Gigi using one of the rancid eggs, show that off. And I am gonna go to the fungal wastes. I'm gonna explore the fungal wastes now that I have this ability to swim in acid, because that's where the acid was most prominent. So I'm gonna go there, and if I have the time, I'll go to Green Path as well to explore some of the unexplored areas we haven't seen yet. So I got a few things to do. <sighs> but first, I gotta avoid these bugs. Seriously, go away! I re-equip those thor thorns. Can I go just one episode, one, without getting utterly decimated by everything in my path? Please, seriously, I'm not feeling very confident in my abilities here. <sighs> and I still have yet to find the freaking grub that's in this place. <sighs> At this point, I might as well just die again, because seriously, I ain't doing that good. Ugh! Go away! Ugh! I am annoyed beyond beggar's belief. Ugh! Why can you blame me? Friggin' feeling like I ain't doing much for you guys. Ah, well. Ouch! Oh god, nope! Before that thing decides to explode in my face. Oh! Here's that grub. At least I can do... One thing right. I was going to say, but apparently not. Let's just heal up. All right, flap and smash. All right, got one thing done in this place, so don't have to worry about coming back to this area for a while. And I'm gonna have to go back to the charm shop at some point, because I do want to get more that other notch, because, oh, that'll be freaking useful. Ugh. But yeah, Notch will definitely come in handy later, because I would like to equip more charms and, you know, combine the abilities I have, maybe get stronger, maybe have a better chance of fighting things that I know will kill me, like those stupid knights. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm still angry about that, especially after the whole fluke warm in incident. Ugh. Sorry, I had to suppress a burp. All right, let's get rid of the Defender's Crest. It's not really doing much, and uh, let's see. Focusing soul emits a spore cloud, whatever. All right, uh, Mark of Pride increases the range. Right, that causes enemies to recoil further. Hmm. Eh, might as well just put Gathering Swarm back on at this point. I mean, it's useful to an extent. Hey, hang on a minute. Here's a curious question. I've explored a bunch of different places. I'm still gonna go to the Fungal Wastes. I do plan to do that, don't worry. But I am curious. I can go back to where I started this whole adventure. King's Pass. Yeah. Well, that'll be interesting. Might as well just explore the area we only got to see once in the beginning. <laughs> it's kinda weird being back here again after all this time. Seeing it all and just taking in all I've done. I mean, yeah, I've made some mistakes, and I will gladly admit to it, but it kind of puts it all in perspective. I've done a lot of good, too. I have helped some people along the way, so yeah. Maybe, maybe all this is kind of worth it in a way. All right, so this is where I landed. I went straight ahead, but what's over here, I wonder? A secret path. Okay, the plot thickens. Seems there's quite a few secrets, and spikes. Huh. Maybe I wasn't meant to see this place yet. Okay, so we have an... Where is this? I don't remember this. Okay. Howling Cliffs. Well, that name certainly fits, because these cliffs, they are a whoa. Huh. This is the lamppost I jumped from. This is literally the path I came from. Huh. Why don't I remember any of it? All I remember was falling, and then... 
Well, everything you've seen. This is interesting. Huh. So what is this place? I mean, I know it's the Howling Cliffs, but... What is it about this place that stands out? Ow! You sneaky little bug! What are you doing back there? I want that Geo. You know I don't say no to Geo. Alright, I really do need to get to Gigi's. Ah, uh, but... Huh? Okay. I am Gorb. Bow! Bow, 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 bow to Gorb! The Great Mind! I am Gorb! Ascend, 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 ascend with Gorb! Uh, you are annoying, even in death. Okay, okay, this guy literally shoots light! Okay, but it seems to be in a pattern, so... Yeah, this isn't too hard, actually. I can, I can manage this. Okay, so, okay, now he's divvying it up with two at a time. But still, it's, it's pretty avoidable, actually. Okay, you can teleport all you want, you fancy pants, big brain son of a gun, with all your little needles and stuff, but I'm still gonna beat ya. I'm gonna beat ya. I'm gonna pick your friggin' essence. I'm gonna friggin' put it in this dream nail. Hold the frick still. Okay, I'm starting to get a little rusty. Okay, now I shoot three at a time. Oh boy. Okay, okay, yep. I should take a moment to heal. Be smart. Okay, carefully now. Now, whoa, that was not careful. All right, that takes care of you. Yeah, yeah, I don't care who you are, Gorb, whatever. Just give me your freaking essence, man. That's all I care about. Thank you. Got that up a little higher, at least. Okay. Oh, and a little extra for my troubles. Nice, thank you. Okay, where does this go? Ooh. Kinda spooky, actually. Huh. Guess this is just an um, extension to the cliffs. Wonder where all this leads. I probably should stick close to the mountain itself, so that way I don't fall. And who knows, maybe there's something hidden in the freaking the base of the mountain itself. Wait. I recognize that humming. I see that page! Corny! <laughs> hey, Cornifer! Enjoying the bracing air? We're quite... Quite. Sorry. <laughs> We're cl quite close to Hollow Nest borders and those desolate plains that surround it. In this direction, I'm about as far as I'm willing to go, though it's been a pleasant change from the tight confines of the caverns. I've drawn out a small map for the area. It's a simple one, and more for completion, really. Not knowing the full extent of a region can be quite frustrating. Hit the nail right on the head with that one. I'll take that. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, we've pretty much got a map of the cliffs. Wait, what's in here? Okay, there's spikes, so careful how you move. Alright. Oh, and a... Did that thing just fart when it died? That was kind of gross. Okay, so... Nothing here. Okay. What the heck? Oh, gotta go down, it seems. Okay, so down, down, down we go into the depths of the Howling Cliffs below. Where we'll end up? Nobody knows! Especially not me, because I keep getting hit. Oh, that guy took a risk jumping that. Good on you for making it! Not so good on you for dying on the approach. At least one of them made it. Oh god, I hope they weren't twins. Alright, so careful. Okay, there's blue butterflies. Interesting. Oh, alright. Slash that. And more blue butterflies. Huh. There's quite a few of them, actually. Is this just leading to another health place? Whoa. What the? There's a lot of them here. Huh. What is all this? Who's this? Can't dream nail them. Joni's blessing. Well, what? Uh, who in the world? Ah, I see you bear my blessing. I can't remember giving it. But my memory has been a little lacking of late. Uh, this must be Joni. Isn't it just so peaceful here? Such a perfect place to rest. Indeed. See anything else? Well, time to put you out of your misery, I guess. <sighs> it's another one for the nail. Gotta wonder. 
If is putting them in this dream nail a good thing for them? I wonder. Is it just damning them to, you know, eternal unrest? Am I doing the right thing? I honestly don't know some days, but I must have a purpose of some sort. Hmm. Whatever that is, I'll face it as head on, I suppose. Either way, there ain't much I can do apart from, you know, continuing to explore the region and trying to find whatever the heck I'm supposed to find. Whatever the case may be, I'm in it for the long haul at this point. Ow! Look at that! That's not fair! That was a double hitter and you know it! Stupid flies. Go away. No one likes you anyway. And yeah, they do fart when they die. Probably because they like explode once they hit the spikes. Yeah, no, they just explode in general. Nasty ash bugs. Right. So, oh, I guess this was supposedly a shortcut. But I missed that opportunity. Oh well, moving on. Let's get out of here. Alright, Cornifer is still here, drawn up. He really likes to travel, I notice. It's a good hobby. Though, in my experience, traveling has been quite dangerous. <laughs> you can even hear him humming right down here. It's kinda nice, knowing that you at least got a friend in the wilderness. Oh, what's this? A secret. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. These blasted plains stretch never-ending. There is no world beyond. Those foolish enough to tra traverse this void must pay the toll and relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. Wait, so my leaving actually wiped my memory? That's why I can't remember anything? Well, then who the heck am I? Okay, now this mystery just got a whole lot more interesting. Another wanderer's journal that I can sell. Good, that's some extra money in my pocket later. What's this? Okay, I seem to have found a hidden pathway, and a... what? Okay, I... what is that thing? It, it's got stitches, and like, a weird stitched mask? What are you? Whoa, what the... um, guys, the essence is red, the essence is red? Uh, the corpse of a large but oh no, duh! Uh... What? This wasn't active a moment ago. What is this? Uh, do I hit it? Oh, I guess I do. Well, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but... Uh... Guys... Whoa! Uh... What? Huh? Carnival music. What? Uh... What just happened? Uh, okay, can't hurt me. Um, I feel strangely uncomfortable. I don't like whatever the heck just happened. I've got a really bad feeling. I don't like getting these jitters. Uh, I know that technically makes me a jitterbug. Uh, figured to say the joke before somebody else did. Something about that l that that thing doesn't wait. Ow! Okay, you better be real after I took that hit for you, buddy. Whoa! Yeah, you're real. Get on out of here, little stinker. All right, so down we go to a treasure chest that's been opened. Hold on a minute. Oh, I've been here. This leads me to Green Path. Okay, well then let's go to Green Path then, since we're on the way there. I was gonna go to the Bungle Waste this episode, wasn't I? <laughs> well, that went right out the window, didn't it? Alright. Oh, this just leads to that place where I fought that one big bug. And then over here where I got that one item. Yeah, let's just go to Green Path. Maybe from there I can explore some of the new areas. I did say I was gonna go to Green Path, so I'm doing at least one thing I said I was gonna do today. Okay, well, let's mosey on over to the Green Path, shall we? Alright, so we're right at the very top. So that's where that led to. Alright, so let's make our way down, because there is a path all the way down here that I have yet to explore. So here we go, I suppose. Down, down, down we go. The green pathway is gonna lead us to, I don't know. Okay, Ugh, fight you just because I can. Go away. Don't you spit at me. 
I want none of what you're selling, buddy. I want your Geo, though. That's good stuff. Alright, down we go. Wait a minute, hold up a sec. I just thought of something. I'm near the Lake of Un, which means I can go to said lake because I don't get hurt by acid water anymore. <laughs> I guess we're going there first. That and there is a bench nearby I can sit at and save, actually. I'm going to sit and save. Updated my map with the Howling Cliffs. Awesome. So now we know that's there. Joni's Repose. Okay, now we know what that's all about. All right, so let's head to the Lake of Un, and then we'll explore the rest of Green Path. And then make our way back to Dirtmouth, because I've got a really bad feeling about what I just did. I feel like I just activated something really nasty. The carnival horn certainly didn't help much either. This is where I first fought Hornet. Ah, little hot spring. <laughs> this doesn't hurt me anymore. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That is really nice. That doesn't hurt no more. I don't even have to worry. I could just fall in here and look. It doesn't even hurt. That's awesome. All right. Now that we are here, we can go down the lake. So let's go down this lake and figure out what the heck's over here. But let's do it in style. Woo! I've gotten used to it. All right, so where does this lead? Oh, this kind of reminds me of the royal waterways, like the more vegetative uh, area. All right, just swim through here. Down we go. Whoa, what the? There's a rumbling. Did anyone else notice that rumble? Wasn't just me, was it? Okay, so where's all this lead to? Okay, there's a big pool. Wait, whoa, what the, what? What's going, whoa, what? Um, oh. Thank you? You must be, well, goodbye, I guess. What's this? Shape of Un. Oh, it's a charm. All right, well, let's see what it does. All right, we've got Joni's Blessing. And shape of un. It the form of un within the bear. While focusing soul, the bear will take on a new shape. It can move freely to avoid enemies. Okay, that actually sounds pretty gosh darn useful. I am kind of glad I came here. So in certain situations, I could move if I have that equipped. Mmm, that could be useful in the future. All right, let's keep flying up and out of here. Hmm. I equip that now, because honestly, that would be pretty useful. Though that's three notches. I really need to upgrade the amount of notches I have. That is, a, that's a definite at some point. I need to get more charms for that though, so we will see. Can I touch you? Nope, can't touch you, you die. All right, let's fly up from here. Yahoo! Honestly, that is really fun. Oh, we're just gonna cut through stuff. Awesome. Woo, ow. Well, it's not fun when you crash your head into the wall and uh, <laughs> you nearly give yourself a concussion. Uh, that's not fun. No, that is not very fun. All right, let's take the shortcut out of here so we can go down further, because I am curious to see what's down there. And yes, I am traveling with a broken soul. I'm going to go to GG's afterwards. That's why I'm going back to Dirtmouth after I'm done exploring this area. <sighs> Guess I'll explore the fungal waste another time. Going down, whoa, avoid those plants. All right, down, down, down we go. I keep saying that this episode, I don't know why. It's just catchy. Down, down, down we go. The green path is to and fro. Where it'll lead, nobody knows. All right, now we are close to the other path, which is filled with vines, a nasty prickly type. Actually, aw oh man, I thought I could like cheat this and like freaking, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, no, I'm gonna have to do a uh, crystal dash across that. So, here we go. Okay, what the, whoa! Delayed reaction much? Ow! Oh, whoa, what happened to the music? Something got really, like, pumped up. I mean, I'm not complaining, it sounds awesome, but I mean, that's a bit much, isn't it? All right, dash, whoa! Carefully, though. Last thing we want to do is run into that. Ow! Spikes. 
Actually, wait, can I hit you? Okay, no, I can't get soul back from that. Well, I killed something? What? That was interesting. Okay. Careful. Okay. That hurdle. Okay. Jump it. Okay. Down. Okay. Careful. Careful. Through it. Okay. Okay, I think I can sword bounce this. Yep. Okay, sword bounce. Monarch wings. Sword bounce. Sword bounce. Sword bounce. Monarch wings. I dash it. I think I dash it. Yep, I dash it. Whoa! Huh! And all the way to the end. Awesome! Okay. Now let's go all the way back. Because I have a thought. To avoid having to do all this again, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to cut the string. Because at least I can avoid doing this all again if I jump high enough. And with the monarch wings at my disposal, I can't. So screw having to do this again! Alright, let's see where this leads us! Whoa, almost went face first into the spike pit. Okay. More spikes, and the music's gone. Okay. What's up with this? Why is the music suddenly stopped? Okay, I got a dash. Whoa, what? Um, it's a house. All the way out here? Who lives here? A... a painter? Okay. Uh -huh. A visitor! Why have you crept in here, little grub? Perhaps, like me, you have a taste for discovering new things? I am Shio, and in a previous life I was a nail master. Yes, the only thing that drove me was becoming stronger and honing my skills with a nail. I imagined it was my one calling in life, but that feeling faded over time. Now I seek a new calling, something that speaks to my soul and compels me forward. That's why I spend my time here, secluded, trying to master the art of creation. Painting, sculpting, these things bring a different kind of pleasure. Hmm, you don't seem very moved by what I've said. Was it Shio the nail master you were looking for? Did you come to learn a nail art? I'll teach you if you insist. Uh, well, actually, it's kind of cool you're making all this stuff, but, uh, sure. Wait, what? Huh? Whoa! Wow. All that from one stroke. Impressive. Great slash. Hold X to concentrate energy into the nail. Release the button without holding up or down to perform a great slash. Oh, so it's a charge attack! Gotta win there. So, my work... Does it move you? The wielding of a nail, the wielding of a brush. These things are not so different. We cut into the world so that we can peer deeper inside. For now, though, I have nothing more to teach you. Your path forwards. Only you can see it. Good luck. Well, uh, thank you for teaching me that move. Oh. I feel more powerful already. All right, let's test it out. Ooh. That's fancy. Alright. Well, I'm glad we took the time to explore this area. Got some new nail arts. Alright. Let's get on out of here. Stash! At least up to where we hit into wall. And then we'll, like, regular dash the rest of the way, because the last thing I want to do is hurt myself. Alright, we're good. Okay. So, if we go to the right, we can head for another new area. But I think I'm going to leave that for later because I genuinely do want to fix my soul and get back to Dirtmouth. Because, yeah, the last thing I want is to walk around with a cracked soul all the time because you guys are genuinely worried about me, which, thank you, I really do appreciate you guys' worry. Even though I feel like I'm freaking wasting your time, but, eh, thanks anyway. Anyways, up we go. Let's just get on out of here. Okay, explode bug, back off. At least you have, like, a little bit of a shake before you blow up on, like, the ones up in freaking infected crossroads. Alright, saved. Ring the bell. Let's bring in the stag. Awesome. Alright, back to Dirtmouth we go. Okay, so Gigi's is all the way across town on the right-hand side. So let's go there first and foremost. Whoa, I almost got off that elevator. That would have been stupid. Alright, so let's... Whoa, 
That's new. It's a sign. Alright, let's take a seat, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna ignore the sign for now, and I'm gonna go visit Gigi. So, off to Gigi's! Alright, these rancid eggs are finally gonna be useful. Really? Hey, Gigi! Uh, sorry to bother you, but I need some help. Oh, I'm mm, sorry. A fierce host has settled nearby. Did you summon them? I find their smell unsettling. Host? Oh, crud. I'll have to check that out after I'm done here. Theirs is a scent from distant places, unfamiliar even to me. They have a strange look to them, gaudy and intimidating. Perhaps you suspect they hide their true appearance? You'd be right. They favor projection over truth, shrouding themselves in forms dreamed. Best to be careful. Assisting them might benefit you, but who knows what suffering it may cause. Yeah, good to know, but I could use, you know, some help. Yes, I can see the regrets you've left behind. A dark stain in the heart of the kingdom's capital. Rain cannot wash it away. As a service, I can return your regrets to you, so they can be dealt with. You want that, yes? Ah, but I am very hungry. Perhaps you'd be willing to part with a little of your food? Sleep for as long as I have, you build up quite an appetite. Yeah, here, have an egg. Oh, I'm mm. sorry. I will enjoy this morsel tremendously. Now, as promised, we will begin the ritual. <laughs> Thanks, Gigi! And this soul fight's back! Well, then again, I am a fighter. Alright. Some extra money out of that. Alright, so thank you, GG, for taking care of that. And at the very least, now you guys know. If you decide to pick this game up, you can go to GG's and collect your soul if you don't want to go back to fight things like Nosk. Anyways, back to the bench. Alright, so let's see what exactly has rolled into. Ah, uh, look there. Something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared. Ugh, it fills me with dread. I think it best I try to ignore it. Ignore what? Uh, um, hi. You're creepy. What is this face? Um, okay, I hear... Oh, that's you. Babala Geno. Mm. You called us. Speak to Master. Uh, okay, big guy. I'll go speak to Master, whoever that is. Uh, what? What in the heck? Uh, I am immensely confused and concerned. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> who the heck? So, it was you who called us. Well met, my friend. Well met. I am Grim, master of this trope. The lantern has been lit, and your summons heeded. A fine stage you choose. This kingdom fallowed by worm and root. Perfect earth upon which our ritual shall take place. And you, my friend, your own part is far from over. As the lantern flare, your rolls cast. Our compact, written scarlet fire. Eager we are to see you commence. But first... Some elimination is required. Across these lands, my kin now spread, harvesting that essence peculiar to my breed. The flame in dream. Seek my kin, claim their flame, and return it to me. Together, marvels shall be achieved. But don't fret, small one. For this task, you won't travel alone. My child shall guide you to the flame and gather within itself that burning essence. Like you, the child plays key role in this task. Only with it by your side will the flame and my kin reveal themselves to you. <laughs> what in the world have I gotten myself into? Okay, um, let's, let's just go, uh, I'm out of here. Okay, so we have a trope to deal with now, uh, let's take a seat. Um, 
Okay, let's see that charm that uh, he gave us, because it, it, it looks interesting. Uh, Grim Child. Okay, the bear must seek the grim kin and collect their flames. Okay, uh, I don't have enough room for this. Uh, I'll use it later, I guess, but, uh... Okay, I screwed up big, didn't I? Oh, boy. Um, don't worry, I will handle this guy and his kin. But, um, yeah, um... Once I have enough room to actually put this thing down, because, uh... It seems like I need some extra space to use this particular charm, and, uh, I don't want to get rid of Dashmaster. That thing is helpful, and Longnail gives me range, so, yeah. I mean, if I get rid of Gathering Swarm, I could use it, but, you know, I need two. So I need an extra slot, which means extra Geo, which means not happening right now. But, uh, interesting development, I suppose. Um, now the Grim Trope is here. Oh, boy. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, so let's go through the fungal wastes, because there ain't much to explore, but there is a bug we need to save. Uh, I think. We need to find her again, first of all. She's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Alright, well now that I have the monarch wings, I can explore that one area I couldn't before, which is actually in the Mantis Village. I don't think she's there. I think she's somewhere else. Well, I got the entire fungal waste to explore and bounce around, because bouncy mushrooms and all that... Alright, either way, I'll gather some Geo while I can, and then head back to that one shop. Wait a minute, how did I not open this? Okay, that changes today. I'm opening that door somehow. Uh, don't you spit on me, mister. Your nasty acid spit. Heh, <laughs> yeah, I work that. Ah, I love being able to swim in this stuff. It's just, it's a great way to say, screw you, and all the times I got burned by it. It's honestly awesome. Uh, now that I realize it, I'm heading towards the path of hell, so this is probably just not the way to go. Okay, this is not the way. Let's leave. I don't want to go back to hell. If you couldn't tell, I don't like hell. I know it's called Deep Nest, but to me, it's hell! Anyways, let's just get on out of here. Let's go down the diff a different path. Alright, heal up. Nice. Alright. That no problem. Let's just get on out of here. Well, out of this particular part of the fungal waste, because this is not the way I need to go. I need to go up and around. Also, yes, you're probably noticing this episode is going on longer than 30 minutes. I figured 40 minutes is good because, well, more to explore and more for you guys to see. You know, like, I can do more with this time frame instead of being clocked into 30 minutes. Alright, I really gotta go all the way up. Alright, watch out for the bomb spore things. I could have just taken the shortcut and avoided that altogether. Whoops. Uh, it also helps because I make bonehead decisions sometimes, and, you know, it helps me to circumvent a lot of that stupidity. Well, it's not stupidity per se, but it's just... Yeah, when you have an area this big, you're bound to make a few mistakes and, you know, re-traverse certain areas again and fight giant mushrooms that you've already fought before, but they just won't go away because they're in your way. Just back off! I think that last one got a bit too personal, but, nah, eh, whatever. There's a path I haven't explored. I wonder where that leads. I should save that gr that bug, though. I was about to say girl. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but they're getting infected, so I figure the sooner the better, but that path close to it. I figure, might as well while I'm here, right? Alright, let's just take a quick glance. Alright. Where does this lead? Up, up, and up, it seems. Can't hop up any further, so I gotta- Ow! Use the freaking mushrooms. Avoid that thing. Freaking nope. Okay, where does this all lead to? Okay, it leads to bubbles. Wait, oh, nope! I'm not going back in there! Nope, that is the Fog Canyon! No, thank you! Okay, this is the path to the Fog Canyon, and also to some of that essence. Okay, I'm at least gonna get this. That much I do want. Because I do need to start saving this stuff up for, uh, the Seer. And, you know, getting more rewards from, you know, all of that. Alright, let's gather it up. And not die in the process! Ugh. Bouncing on mushrooms can be a bit tricky. You have to know when to bounce and when not to. It's all about timing! 
<sighs> Still, it is fun. I admit. Bouncing on mushrooms can be fun if there are no enemies in your path. Unlike this fat beluga. Alright, is that all of it? No, there's more, it seems. I have missed some essence on my path. Maybe it's this way? Aha! Alright. And that sprouted the tree. Awesome! Let's get out of here. Alright, that's another essence tree taken care of. Sweet. Alright, down we go, and now we explore the rest of this place. Alright, so that path leads to the Fog Canyon, which is... Oh, crud. The Fog Canyon is where one of them is, isn't it? Great! I gotta go there anyway! Shoot. Well, I mean, it could be worse. I mean, I could be traveling to hell again, but I took care of that and nipped it in the bud. And also missed some dialogue, but oh well. What can you do? Alright. Go right to the left. I actually got my directions right this time. Actually, now I think about it. What about happened to Cloth? I know she was in hell. Hmm. Huh. And Zote's there, too, now I think about it. Although Zote, I don't really give two flying fricks about, because he can go die in a hole for all I care. But, I mean, I should go back for him. And I really should go back and see how Cloth is holding up. Ugh, I'll have to re-explore hell at some point, won't I? Great. Just when I thought I was done with that place. This leads to the Mantis Village, but let's not go there right away. Let's go down this way, because this leads to someplace different, it seems. Wait, no, that doesn't lead to the Mantis Village, that leads somewhere else. Alright, so down there is where the Royal Waterways are. But where does this side path go? Because I know I couldn't reach it before because I didn't have these wings. Let's finally, you know, solve that mystery. Okay, the Fungal Core. Okay, we're in the heart of all the mushrooms, it seems. Okay. Interesting. What does the core have up its sleeves? Does the core even have sleeves? I don't know. Put your thoughts in the comments below. Does a core have sleeves? I don't know, I'm trying to be philosophical and deep, but I'm definitely not doing that. Whoa! Bomb! Glad I did not get caught by that. I should really be healing. Just realizing that now. Whoop! Nope. And away from all of that. Just nope. Okay, nope. All the nope. All the nope. Whoa, this is a nope if I've ever seen a nope. All of my nope. All of it to you and that entire section of bombers. Ugh. Okay, oh, big mushroom, big mushroom, big mushroom. Okay, take care of all that. You're going the wrong way, buddy. I'm over here. You darn fool. Alright, so down leads to nothing, it seems. Where does up lead? Fungal Warriors! Otherwise known as the Wah Warriors. Okay, oh! One of the soul totem poles. Alright, and down leads to a rancid egg. Okay, cool. Good. Got that. Alright, let's go up. What else is here? Is this really just an area to fight people in? Is that really all this is? Because if so, I'm honestly kind of disappointed. Alright, but we are close to that bug, so yeah. There's that much at least. But I don't think this is the area to find said bug. So let's... Yeah, I think we're done here. Wait, there's a secret passageway. Where does that lead? Okay, so it's over there. Alright, let's at least open up the shortcut and, you know, make it easier on ourselves if we ever decide to come back here. Because honestly, I don't think there really is a reason. Alright, so... Hmm... Can't cut through the Mantis Village, so we've gotta go the long way. Ow! Frickin'! Ugh, at least there's a bench there, so we can save once we're done. That's a plus, because we are coming up to the 40 minute mark. Alright, bounce up! No! Whoa, bounce! Ugh, I love that the Mantises don't attack you. That's honestly one benefit to doing the Mantis Village early, is that you don't have to fight them later on. Well, that and you get that very nifty claw. That claw is so freaking useful. Alright, there we go. Alright, hello, mantises! They honestly are very elegant creatures. Very nice looking, too. 
That's why I don't like fighting them, because honestly, now that they're we're like on good terms, it feels wrong. No? Okay. So now we are here. This is where that bug is. See? There's the bug. Okay. So how do we get to said bug? That is the question I need to answer. Okay, can't go through this wall. Alright, so it's apparently in the southeast path. Wait, what? Oh! Okay. More of these guys. Alright, you can die. Alright, pop the wall. Pop the wall, and... Oh! Wait, there's something over. Whoa, that's a lot of spikes! I see lots of spikes, and you can go die! And your bomb, too! Thank you. Alright, just gotta dash. I've done this before. Well, not this specifically, but I've done something like this up in the Crystal Peak, which that's another area I need to revisit. God, a lot of revisiting gonna get done these episodes, it seems. Alright, down we go! Alright, hey! You alright? Don't leave me behind! You forgot about me? I knew you would. Everyone always forgets about me. Oh? Who are you? Your face. You're so... So... So oh. what? Uh, I'm sorry. I got lost. I don't know how I ended up here. I... You came to rescue me? Bretta? The girl that everyone just... ignores? Well, yeah. You were kind of stuck here. I didn't want to leave you behind. Sorry. When I looked at your face, I can hardly... I just can't believe you came all the way down here to rescue me. I didn't think anybody... Sorry. I mean, thank you. I mean, I'd better go. Back to town, I mean. I'd better get home. Uh, yeah. Here's a pathway to make it easier for you. Just be careful on your descent, okay? Get home. Seriously. You don't want to be stuck in this place for too long. It's kind of nasty. Alright, so we've saved the bug girl. Freda, it seems. Okay, so we've made some progress. We've explored a bit more, we've discovered new pathways, and yeah. Uh, we've also unlocked the Grim Trope. That's gonna be fun to deal with. Uh, yeah. But until next time, I suppose, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below letting me know your favorite moments. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and turn on all notifications so you know when this bug is, well, exploring more of the world. Because, yeah, at this point, that's all I can do. Explore and get more powerful. And uh, share this video around, because, yeah, not a lot really major happened plot-wise, but we did make some good progress. And with that said, this has been Ghost, and uh, see ya, I guess. Bye.